Hello and thanks for watching. Today we're going to look at some problems that you might get in JoinFS, particularly if you can't see other aircraft. If we look in the manual, it gives us some information about troubleshooting. So as you figured out, you need both of these buttons to be green, but sometimes it just seems to lose the connection. So if you have reset your flight or fiddled with something in your simulator, even if the simulator button is green, it might not be working. So click on it once to disconnect it, click on it again to reconnect it. If that doesn't do the trick, click on the network button and reconnect that. That will force a bit of a refresh. Um, on the subject of refreshing, in your settings at the top, there is a tick box for an auto refresh. I recommend having that on. So as other people come and go in the group, they will appear on the aircraft list without you having to manually refresh it. If you can't see someone, go into view users, just check that the tick box to ignore them isn't ticked. I'm sure you'd know if you had ignored someone, but you know, these things happen. And if you can't see a particular aircraft, have a look in the aircraft list and make sure it isn't ticked ignore at the bottom of the page there. In this list, there are two that are orange. That's because they're outside of my um, activity area. What do you call it? circle of activity, which you set in the main settings page. If you need to ignore someone because they are spamming you, you can tick the box to ignore the aircraft. And then if at a later date you want to unignore them, you have to tick the list ignored aircraft button so that they then appear back in the list and you can untick the ignore function. If you're an X-Plane user, you might have forgotten to tick the X-Plane enable and install the plugin bit during installation. And then there's one more obscure fault that we had once. Um, a user had been install uninstalling another simulator and then after that JoinFS stopped working. And we can only assume that it interfered with a little program called SimConnect, which is what JoinFS uses to connect to the simulator. So his symptoms were that he was clicking on the green buttons or clicking on the network and simulator buttons to turn them green. Um, but one of them wasn't going green. I can't remember which one. I guess it must have been the simulator one. So inside the simulator, there is an installer for SimConnect. In the root of the FSX or P3D folder, it's inside SDK Core Utilities Kit, SimConnect SDK Libraries, and then double click on the SimConnect MSI, and that's the installer. And that fixed the problem, but that was quite an obscure issue, and I've only come across that once. Okay, so that's it. I think that's probably the end of the JoinFS series. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.